today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel cool YouTuber that's trying to be a little nobody. And I have two cats there that is having a fight and I, I don't know. Astrid is one that is screaming and you do not need to worry about her because that's just the way she sounds. Um, I don't know. They have been sleeping in the couch until now. <laughs> and right now when I am start to film, they are going to apparently fight. I don't know why. But okay, <laughs> today I am here with a new video and today it's going to be my last day in my gloss cuts week. And it's also going to be my no buy update. Because October is to an end and the palette that I'm mostly going to focus on today is Gal on the Moon from Gloss Gods of course. This is the blue, blue green purple effects palette. The video before this, I think it was two days ago maybe, I did it with Gal on Marsh and uh, that was the red one, but this is the bluish one, and I know exactly what I want to do. But uh, I'm going to also use a shade from this Touch Me palette that is also from Gloss Gods. I'm going to use this because I'm going to do something green and gold today, and I'm going to take a red lip to it because I just want to do that. So yeah, I guess that I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started. Okay, I just changed my mind. I'm going to take this, uh, making it flawless palette instead of Touch Me and using this green. Because first when I planned this look, I was like, okay, I want to do something a little bit more to the blue side, but uh, I'm not. So I guess that this shade is going to look better. And okay, something I want to talk about first is about this theme week. I'm trying to have the videos up. Now it's only Ines that is crazy. I'm trying to have these up like five days in a row. But this week, as you may notice, it hasn't been like that. And that is because uh, I actually met some friends like in the middle of the week and I usually don't do that and also I didn't film last week and or I haven't filmed like much this week and I just haven't got like the time or the will to do that so I haven't and I am as you know I'm trying to like figuring a filming schedule for myself, but it's not going like super great. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm going to get there some day. We will just have to wait and see, but I just wanted this video or this week to be full. Yeah, I guess you are going to get this at Saturday. Maybe it depends on where you live, but I'm trying to post my videos. So it's for me, it's six am so the days are getting a little bit off but yeah i'm trying to post this like they the day after each other so i post maybe four or five days a week in a row but this week it hasn't like worked with my life for once uh, i have had other things to do so yeah i just wanted this up and be done with this gloss gloss week and i don't know but this week this theme week, I'm going into this one. And I'm going to take this Moonquake and then I'm going to cut my, do a half cut crease and take Jessica Mayer. Mayer? Mayer. Um, and this theme week hasn't been as fun as my other, or I haven't feel, felt like, I don't know how to describe it, but I've tried to do like longer videos for this theme week and Maybe do some like get ready with me's and just some of them like a little normal makeup video, but not only have like super short videos. And then I have to edit things, and that has 
hasn't been like something that I have have in mind that I need to do so I have been a little bit slow this week with putting up videos but yeah I hope it will be better with my next theme week don't know what it will be though and yeah we will see next week if there is going to be any videos I don't know yet I don't know I have been so behind <laughs> at editing so like I don't know how many videos I have that I haven't edited yet maybe none maybe a few I have to check that out and okay this shade was really really nice and I was going to have to tell you a little bit about my no buy it's still going good October went really good and I am starting to uh, see an end to this no buy and it has been fun but like I can't grasp like it's November now 2022 is almost over it's having a really hard time to get this into my head and to get like I have almost done a whole year without shopping any new makeup it feels so so strange and it feels like I'm finally when it comes to like my skincare I have been using up products and gone through like my backup drawer and things that I got either as like a present you know if you buy something and you got a present or like in my advent calendar from last year that I had from Body Shop I'm like finally going through these things and I'm just wishing to buy some new some other skincare I have bought a few things like some face masks and uh, cleansing things because I always want to have two cleansing things like one oil and one like second cleanse and also like something that isn't that hard to my face so that I have bought but um, it's going to be fun to uh, soon has gone through all the skincare that I just have saved because I don't really really like them I think they are okay like I have some drops of youth from the body shop I like the serum but like the eye no not the eye cream the face cream isn't a favorite and I have just opened that one because my other face cream I did run out of so that feels good and it's going to be fun to just I don't want to buy too much oh, do you see this too much skincare like I don't want to have it like I had before like I had so so much but I still want to be able to buy just because I want to try something new and I'm really looking forward to that but I also think it has been really good for me to have it like this and I know when I had my low buy year I don't think I bought any like new uh, what was, what is it shower creams for like one year because I have had so many that you know you have bought when it has been on sale like body shop has twice a year I think like a super sale on or like limited edition shower gels and stuff like that and then I bought some and then like I got in that big advent calendar that I had last year and yeah so it feels really nice to have done this and it now I really can find the joy to watch videos with new makeup that I do really want. I watched some videos earlier today with 
uh, from Nets Makeup Corner with like Blend Bunny. It was some of her older videos, but like I haven't wanted to watch them before because I think that the risk that I was getting some FOMO was going to come, but now I can really find the joy to watch new makeup content and I think it's fun again to watch it. Okay, this is looking really good, but also really, really messy. So yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of chunks everywhere. Um, so yeah, that has happened. But I, it doesn't feel like I have so much more new things to say about my no buy because it's, it hasn't happened that much like since my last update and this. And I don't think it's going to happen that much because I am doing an upda update after November, like in the early December, I'm going to have my 11th update and then in December I don't think I will do updates only for that month or maybe I don't know but then I'm going to talk about like how my year has been with having a no buy and if I did succeed and everything and that is coming in, I guess in January and also now soon it's time for I wonder if this is better to take with my finger, maybe? Uh, soon it is time for Black Friday and everything. And... I think it... Say that I would have started this no by maybe this summer or... In September I think that Black Friday would have felt more scary for me. But now like, I'm almost done. I'm almost done with my no buy, so Black Friday doesn't scare me. Like, um, I don't think there will be anything that is going to make me want to buy any makeup on Black Friday. Actually, I'm not scared of that at all. It feels like I'm bathing in glitter right now. <laughs> um, but there is. And okay, I can talk about this one as well. I was like thinking if it would be cheating to have an advent calendar because if you didn't know this, I have had one from Body Shop for I don't know how many years, a lot of years. But this year I was like, no, I am not going to have it. The only advent calendar that I've said to my boyfriend that I want is one with socks. Like 24 pairs of new socks I want that. If you didn't know, like, fun socks is my thing. Today I have socks with the space on, it's planets and stuff, and some glitter, and like, fun socks is my thing. I barely even, like, own a black pair of socks, like, that is plain black. I think... Oh, no, I have glitter everywhere. everywhere. I think I have maybe... Like these, you know, training socks that is one color, but other than that, fun socks is my, is my yes. <laughs> and I said to my boyfriend that I wanted the advent calendar with socks. So I hope that I will get it, but other than that, I'm not going to have an advent calendar this year. And uh, it feels completely fine with me not to have the body shop, even though I have had it for maybe six the latest six years or something but like i don't feel like i need it and there are always a lot of products that you get that you don't really like um and yeah i don't know what more to say maybe i don't have any more like an update is this enough for an update and i just I'm so looking forward to the end of December to wrap up this year. I really like to wrap up the year. I think that is a really fun thing to do. And if we're going to talk about the makeup, like this gold shimmer or glitter or what it is, I, it's like a flaky dream. It's looking really, really good. 
I don't know if you can see anything. I hope that you can. I though, as you might see, have glitters like everywhere. So I'm going to try to take that off, fix my base and everything. And now I have specs here. Mm. I'm going to uh, fix this, fix my base, and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my face. I did use Ombra, Truth, and Ozone from Nabla. And on my wash line, I did use Teaspoon from Colourpop. And on my lips, I took Rogue Assassin from Nabla as well. And okay. Green and gold is like one of my favorite combos. I love it so so much and I do really love this gold shade it's like it's like a flaky shade I guess like this multi-chromes and duochromes and whatnot it is not a thing that I'm good at but yeah <laughs> it is more like a flaky shade and I do like it but yeah as you see it's in this one as well and it's like over here and everywhere and I do like it but I don't know if it is that special that I couldn't have done it with like another shade. I This looks really interesting. I think this is a flaky shade as well. This is a Luna. No, it's not flaky. It just looks like that. Um, But yeah, I, <laughs> I do like this but I am... Trying to like figure out what I do like and what I don't like and what I try to like Maybe not try to like but like what I try even though I might not like it just because I want to try it and I don't know if like This is my thing because it's just getting me annoyed Like in the video with the girl on Marsh I did talk about that I had flakes everywhere and this is like even worse and this I did cut my crease I did took a denser brush and just pressed it on I also took my finger but I still have flakes fucking everywhere like I don't think you can see it but like I have it down here and some of it peeks through my foundation I have it yeah, you can see it on my shirt I have it on my pants have it on my hands have it on my arms I'm just getting so annoyed and I do not think this is for me. I think this is a really fun palette to have. But I don't know how much I will use it. And this is no longer available. They have some other... Some other palettes that are like a mix between this one and I guess a more normal palette. Um... But yeah, I just don't think this is for me. I do love, like, the concept of this. I love that you can, like, add a shimmer or a glitter or something. Or, like, yeah, this flaky shade. But I just don't think it is for me. I don't think this is an eyeshadow palette that is made for me. I don't think this is my... Yeah, so now I have glitter here getting so annoying and I just want to take this off even though I really really love this look and with the red lip it's perfect I just want to take this off because I know that I'm going to have these specks everywhere and it feels like I can't like move or anything because it feels like I'm going to have it everywhere like all over the apartment and it is just, even though how much I like it and how nice I think it is, it's driving me crazy. Like, I am, I just want to change my shirt and I want to change my pants because I have glitter all over my pants as well. And I don't think it's worth the hassle. I do not. <laughs> But yeah, I guess that was all for this week, this theme week and this no buy update. It feels like now I'm just wanting to do like my collective thoughts on this no buy. I don't know. It hasn't happened that much for the last two updates maybe. I have no new feelings about it. It has not begun to get harder or anything. And I guess that is because I am so close to the finishing line that I'm like one month or two months more. I'm going to make it. it. It's not going to be hard. Like 
to not buy anything new so yeah and also do hope that you like this video even though um not all the palettes are still available and gloss gods they do ship worldwide but uh, they are not like big in they are not super big in sweden either they are getting bigger and bigger because they are doing collab with with influencers swedish influencers but they are not like a super big brand but they are growing but i don't think they are growing that much outside of sweden i know that anielka nyqvist did a video with two uh, of the kind of new palettes i can leave her video down in the description but yeah they do ship worldwide but i think that the shipping is kind of expensive which for one part of me feel that is good because then people in us like can get how it is to live in sweden and have to pay super high shipping for everything from the us to sweden but yeah okay <laughs> i guess that was all for this week i will see how it will be next week maybe i wash this off and uh, film another video today I don't know, I think I might going to edit this first and I'm going to change my shirt and like I have glittered down. I don't think you can see it but I have it here and I... I even got glitter in my nose. That's how far my glitter has gone. But yeah, I do hope that you have liked this week and this video, I've already said it and I don't know, I'm thinking about the next theme to do or to use forgotten palettes from Colourpop like palettes that I haven't used much from Colourpop because I'm I'm really I really want to use Colourpop because I've seen a lot of videos like people trying out the new um, Hocus Pocus palette it's not the Hocus Pocus palette where is it called the Hocus Pocus palette I don't know but people are trying out new eyeshadow palettes from Colourpop and it feels like it has been a while since I did use the Colourpop palette and I have some Colourpop palettes that I thought that I was going to use so much more that I than I have done. So yeah, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!